Hi there, welcome to the Idaho Four case. Now for some people who don't understand that reference, we're talking about the Brian Koberger case, more so the crime scene murder house. Because one way or another, from a certain angle, there is an uncensored photo of the murder house. Okay? And I want to present it to you today. Give a little brief backstory as well and my thoughts of what could happen for the future too. So when it comes to the likes of Google Earth, and I guess it applies to Google Maps, but, you know, Google Earth has street view. Um, even though I was late to the case by a few months, many months actually, when I did go on Google Earth, I could see the house, the actual house, the murder one. And it was the building next to it that was blurred out. So obviously a mistake was made. Um, we saw the balcony as well and everything, and around the side of the house. And eventually it was blurred out, but it took time. So there was, there was no urgency. So why did it have to be censored and blurred in the first place? You know, what bad comes from seeing photos of the building when there's many photos publicly online already? You know, from the news articles, uh, news coverage, videos, etc., what harm does it do if you can actually see the photo of the house? And you could definitely question it more so now than back then is because, as we saw, the house was demolished, wasn't it? And the university had the final say on the matter. So with the, uh, the house being demolished now, there's really nothing there. It's just flat ground. So why can't you retrospectively look at it on Google Earth uncensored? What's the whole point? Because... For the length of time that building was there, everybody else who was there in real life, living, walking past, would have seen it firsthand. So why can't people online? I do think it was a little bit silly because there's been many other times in the past where maybe something's happened, there's been a crime scene, problem down a street, whatever. You look now, it wasn't blurred out. Sometimes things can be blurred out because of privacy reasons, if it's to do with military, government, secret stuff, operations, you know, all that kind of dodgy things in the background. But this is a true crime related situation or a geographical location. And on maps, they censored it. Unfortunate. But they didn't quite. Because as said, from a certain angle, you can see it. just want to present it to you today. And I'll just compare with a actual publicated public photo of what appears to match with what we're looking at from Google Earth's perspective. Let's just head on over there right now and I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see on screen, we've got King Road, Moscow, Idaho. And upon zooming on in down that street on the left, which comes down here, I believe this is the murder home there. Obviously no more because it's been demolished as set. It appears to be a car outside and a few parts up down the side there. Now, I don't know about the age date of this satellite imagery, if I'll be honest with you, but it does seem more present up to date of around the time post-crime scene or post-case unfolding and investigations underway, and uh, that'll make more sense shortly. But the key thing is, you know when you do the street view, okay, you see all those blue lines, it means you can go down to street level. But originally, when I checked the first time round in the past, you could actually go down this street here on the left, where you see those rows of cars. You could go so far down, so you were in parallel to the murder house. And this wasn't blurred, censored. It was this building here that was censored. So they got the wrong one, as I said. But it's weird how they've completely taken the street view line completely out of the map. Not really seen that happen before. So they've really tried covering it up, which is kind of interesting. Now, we get as close as possible as said, right? Originally, something like this building was blurred out, part of it. But that over there is the murder house. You can see part of it at the back, the balcony, right? Unfortunately, you can't look at the access, the entrance, exit points if you used to do your own little analysis. But you would have been able to if you did it way back then at the very start. You can try and move about, but then this is what happens. This goes out of date because the last time Street View was done here, recorded, was obviously many years back. But this one, 
bit more modern. So how can we see a different angle where it's not censored? I don't know why it's blurred out there as well, because that's the opposite of the street, which is very stupid. But if we go down here, right, take a right, and we're looking that way. You can, I believe that's the roof of the murder house over there. Click once, one more time. You should be able to see it from here. So yeah, I know it's not the best, but this is one of the better angles you can get. And it's more up to date this because you got that blue box there, which I guess may be like a security post, which a security guy would be in. And you can faintly see that either the window or the door is boarded up, obviously, because what happened had happened before. So treat it as a crime scene, police investigations and sealing it up and protecting it from anyone entering or breaking in. That's a normal thing to do. I don't know if we can make any micro adjustments. I don't think we can. But does it remain the same? Yeah, it remains the same. So you can see it over there. I'll just try one more time. No, you can't. Because I think originally what I did it might have been down here. I think it was taking a right up here, going to the top of here, and then taking a right over that way, possibly. But I guess they may have eliminated that street view, which is a shame, right? But I just wanted to share with you, in case you were interested, in case you wanted to see it from a different angle, right? An angle of relevancy around the time of when everything unfolded. That's your best shot from there. Now, let's compare that to a public photo, an official one. So, as you can see, this is basically identical to what we looked at on Google Earth just then. You had that blue box there, which is appearing to be on a trailer itself, so it, it can be towed along. It says authorities, no trespassing, and at the bottom it says security, right? So it's like a security post. Security guard could sit in there, maybe read a newspaper, look at TV, whatever, eat food, maybe they've got a dog or not, and obviously monitor the area to prevent anyone from getting into the place because back then, early on, crime scene, key evidence, the building itself and what's within, the exit points, the entrance points, and um, okay, people did say that supposedly police didn't handle it correctly, but at least from what you can see here, it was mainly protected, obviously, with fences as well. Was there any security cameras, surveillance? You would hope to think so. There's even a sign on the building on the building saying no trespassing. Or maybe that's on the fence itself. And you can clearly see that the windows, doors are boarded up. And it might have been this, what we saw, or this one, which we could see from that angle on Google Earth. But it was mainly the blue box that stood out the trailer. Maybe it's a slight different angle, possibly. Maybe this photo was taken different day to the satellite imagery. But it's just interesting because normally what happens is when you're on Google Earth, whether you want to go back in time or you just want to look at the street view footage, um, it's never relevant to the date, the month or the year of a particular event occurring, right? Not everything is documented every day, every Every week in terms of satellite imagery so often you don't see what you're looking for but in this instance in this community area to do with students and people from the university itself it's like off grid like campus living accommodations right it's not a place that would receive high volume of traffic or let's say google themselves street view driving about if you're on a highway or a main road that tends to be more updated than these areas away from the high traffic volume, right? Sometimes they get neglected, and yet it was updated and recorded street view at the time. Maybe it was done on purpose by Google, opportunistic moment to drive around, capture it all as it's unfolded, the crime scene house, or it could just be a coincidence and timing. It's just because it never normally happens, right? Is there anything else to take from this? Well, security, police related, or just security in general there, Chevrolet. And then down here, a little memorial, if you want to call it that, picture frame, some flowers, and a black teddy bear. 
Now I couldn't quite see that on the Google Earth imagery. But I just want to know your thoughts. Do you agree with Google and whoever reaching out wanting it to be censored or should it have remained uncensored? Leave your comments down below. I know there's a, quite a few people out there protesting and not happy with the decisions made of tearing down the house because it's key evidence and it could be used in the future and it's not reached trial yet properly or the court proceedings haven't gone fully underway yet. That's still being dragged out and there's no actual date given. So it seems like some things are being pushed and rushed too much. As for Google Earth, now it would be seen as more of a retrospective archive because obviously the building's no longer there. You look on the maps, it is there. So outdated now. Would they ever revert the decision? Probably not. But my question would be, if they updated the maps, the satellite and Street View 2024, 25, 2026 onwards, whenever it may be, when they do update the map and how it looks visually, because things can change with time and if anything else is built there or it's just left bare and open, will it remain censored forever? Even when things are taken from there, such as the building itself, or if other stuff is added, like a tree or another house building, will it? Will there be any changes, I wonder? Um, I can't physically or mentally remember if there's been times on Google Earth if things have been censored and then as time's moved on, it's then become uncensored because things have changed or been added, removed. I can't remember. If you know, let, let me know your thoughts down below and just in general. Just wanted to make this short little video or so just from a different angle and perspective and also from my side of the story of what I once saw compared to what I see now. And let me know, were you around at the time before it was censored or not? So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Good night.